What is something insignificant that you passionately hate? In these unprecedented times. Putting on the brights to compensate for a dead headlight. That shark fin shaped spot on my windshield that my wipers can't reach. When the audio and the video don't sync up by more than half a second. Edit. Didn't expect this to blow up as much as it did. Leaving the dish scrubber in the sink with the dirty dishes. I don't want to reach my hand into the mucky water to find the thing. FFS. And if it's totally gross. I have to clean it off so I can use it to scrub the dishes. Come on. When you are gonna walk trough a door in your shirt or backpack. Etc. gets stuck on the handle. People who try to get on the elevator before letting people off. When the microwave keeps beeping even after you've opened the door to get your food out. Like I know it's done. That's why I'm opening it. You don't need to keep screaming at me thanks. People that pull out in front of you. When no one is driving behind you. And then drive 20 miles an hour. Those beauty kiosks at the mall that try to hand out crappy samples then chase you down when you don't take one. Video game ads that don't show actual gameplay footage. People when there's a clear lineup at a gas station till. Bust out a massive wad of lottery tickets. And then you spend 10 minutes listening to Wahoo. Or. Not a winner. When you just want to get to work. People that walk through busy pedestrian areas with zero self-awareness. You know the ones almost bumping into you as they're glued to their phones. Stopping suddenly in front of you to gaze in a window. Four people walking spread out and making others step into the street. The list goes on. People who are making a phone call while simultaneously making a transaction with a live human being in front of them. Yeah I'm here for my meds. Hold on one second. I know, Jake. Isn't that crazy? I thought the same thing. My birth date. Okay, just get off the damn phone. So rude. People who spend 10 minutes circling a half full parking lot to find a marginally closer spot to the store entrance. If they'd just picked a parking spot a bit further out they'd be in the store already instead of circling. And their incessant circling creates traffic for people trying to leave the lot or walk to their car. Just park 15 spots further away already. People who stand in a 30 minute line. But wait until they get to the register to look at the menu. Leaving shopping carts randomly in the parking lot. The phrase. We'll touch base. It absolutely grates in me. I have no reason to hate it. I just do. The sound of windshield wipers squeaking or skipping on the glass. You know that little bit of soda at the bottom of the can that you can never reach? Edit. This is my absolute greatest pet peeve thank you for everyone who agrees with me. I have an aunt who turns on her cell phone when she needs to call someone. When she is done she turns it off. No one can ever reach her. So at the end we always call her husband. Commercials that have the food cannibalize each other. Just. Why? Groups of people who block the entire sidewalk as they walk and talk. Walking so slowly without regard for anyone else. People who watch TV or movies on their phone. Without headphones in the break room. Edit. Thanks for the awards. People who talk on speaker phone or listen to music videos without headphones in public. Literally no one else wants to be subjected to your noise pollution. Stop it. When people inappropriately use an apostrophe in the plural form of a word. Sundays. People that are ahead of me in the gas station buying a shit ton of lottery tickets. My wife leaving the microwave on a random number instead of zeroing it out so the time displays. I don't know why it bothers me so much but it does. One of my biggest social pet peeves are people who refer to others by their first name when it's likely you don't know who they are. For example. A co-worker saying they ate dinner with Sam and Robert on the weekend. When you ask who Sam and Robert are. They say. My brother's in law. Like. Did you really think I know your bills by name? When I see new neighborhoods being built with houses starting at least 650k. And they have no yard and the houses are literally 3 feet apart from each other. Being asked. Are you sure? About really trivial decisions. Them. Do you want a Coke or Pepsi? Me. Coke. Them. Are you sure? Me. Oh god I don't know. Throws self off building. Loud eaters. 
with managers who insist on calling meetings and giving long-winded instruction about some mistake or infraction one or two people committed instead of having the balls to just go talk personally to the one or two people. Considering that I now work at a grocery store. People who leave refrigerated, frozen items not in the refrigerators or freezers. And sometimes people who try to start a conversation, just leave me alone and let me ring you out so you can leave. Edit. Also people who leave broken items on, near the shelves. Almost got a knife to the knee tonight. Walking behind slow walkers. People who leave their dirty dishes in a communal sink. Meaning other people can't use the sink. Anytime two drivers block the road so they can have a conversation. Then get upset when you are just sitting there waiting. Like bruh. Move the fuck out of the way. The Romeo and Juliet trope. People that don't use their turn signals. Fuck them. People who have every sound notification enabled on their phones. Down to the fake keyboard clicking noise it makes when composing a text. Multiple people talking at once. The fact that the word palindrome isn't a palindrome. When they lick their finger to turn the page. Chewing with your mouth open. Talking with food in your mouth. Especially when someone who's streaming is doing it. You've got a microphone in front of your face and you think it's cool to just loudly chew into it. Itchy skin. I have a patch of eczema on my ring finger and ah, uh, but also seasonal dryness on my legs. People who pronounce tissue without the shish sound but with an s sound. Flat head screws. People who wear an excessive amount of perfume cologne. I don't mind if you want to wear a nice subtle scent but if I can still smell you even after you've left the room it's too much. Those blackheads in a specific corner of your nose that just cannot be popped. People who stand and talk in the middle of the walkways and aisles at stores. Come on now Cindy and Tammy. I know you haven't seen each other in a month but find somewhere else to chat. Homie just trying to get some Wheaties and y'all standing in the way. Thank you essential workers. While they continue to pay them minimum wage and do nothing to show them they care. The McDonald's ba da ba ba ba. I hate it. It makes me angry and I don't even know why. I don't frequent McDonald's anyway. But if I did that stupid jingle would make me stop. And. I know this isn't asking about commercials. But that seems to be what I passionately hate I cannot stand the Keurig commercial with James Corden. I've considered writing to Keurig to let them know that the commercial has turned me off so much that I will never buy another Keurig product again. Not that I had planned to I have a cheap knockoff that works great. But they don't know that. But I want to throw things at my TV when that comes on. Hate it. People already posted a lot of my answers. So here's one I haven't seen yet. When you're reading a story from someone on Reddit and you just want them to get to the point but they're introducing the cast of characters like My girlfriend at the time. Let's call her M. I always stop reading right there. It's too much exposition for a story that's not gonna be that interesting. Mouth sounds. It makes me irrationally angry. When Reddit posts have the number of upvotes hidden. Forced work get togethers that involve group icebreaker games. Please just trust that a group of professionals know how to talk to each other without needing that shit. Every single progressive and liberty mutual commercial. They're so bad and flow is infuriating. My husband thinks I'm grinchy. But I hate this trend of inflatable holiday decorations. They seem to get bigger and bigger and are such a waste of material and energy. More crap for the landfills. My schedule being disrupted. I am a planner. I like to know what I'm doing where for how long. But my free time is mostly wasted anyway. So it isn't as if anything is lost. I just get so irrationally upset because it feels so disrespectful. My dad gets hot in a vehicle. So instead of taking off his coat before he gets in. He leaves the coat on and drives with the windows down in the middle of winter. Drives me insane. No. I do not want the wind zipping through the cab of the car and snowflakes flying in. Please turn the heat down or take off a layer. Unexpected item in BAGAGE area. 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 Help is on the way. When people say. Thank you for the gold kind stranger. It just irks me so much and I don't know why. Like nails on a chalkboard. Edit. I won't say it. I won't. Influencers. Kindly fuck off already. Loud yawning. 
I don't know why but it bothers me so much when someone yawns really loudly next to me. Gifts that don't loop. People who don't look around them before moving out or in a different direction and I mean when walking. It takes nothing to just have a quick glance over your shoulder to see if you might be stepping into someone's path. 